So, just to get started after, what was it like? Kind of describe what it was like. I mean, you're on pay per view. Mm -hmm. It's Vegas. It's MGM, right? Mm -hmm. MGM Grand, mm -hmm. biggest stage in the world for boxing. PBC. Mm -hmm. You got a listers in the crowd. What was that like walking down that aisle, getting in that ring, being in that moment? Describe mm -hmm. that a little bit. Yeah, it was pretty wild. Um, I was uh, I was looking forward to it, and when the fight got announced, being as big a car as it was, you know, I. I alluded to that I think even when I talked to John on the phone uh, about a month before the fight just about how proud I was to be on that card and, and that you know I wasn't planning on uh, losing the fight <laughs> but just the fact that if I had whatever happened and if it was the last time that I ever fought I knew that I would be uh, you know take that with me the rest of my life just being in that Amen. position because you know that's what we have dreamt about since mm -hmm. we were, we were li since I was a little kid so yes, sir. Um, I was thankful for that and um, yeah for sure the walkout was crazy because I did catch eyes with some people in the crowd. I'm like, oh my goodness, like, this yeah. is crazy, you know. Right, uh, right, you know, right. Floyd, Floyd Mayweather was a few rows back, and he's Jeez. been in one of my fights before, but um, there's a lot of celebrities in the crowd and things, and it was wild, just it was a whole, uh, I've been on big cards before, but it was like a whole another level of production, and, and just, like I said, it's what I've, MGM Grand, you know, that's where Floyd used to fight. Mm -hmm. So many mm -hmm. huge fights have happened there, and, and mm -hmm. it was pretty amazing. It really Absolutely. Was. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I just wanted to kind of yeah. set that. Yeah, this, that's a big deal. It's yeah. not, you know, if you don't follow boxing, if you, you know, if you're not a fan of the sport, it's as yeah. big as it gets right there. PBC, pay-per-view, Benavidez plant. That was a huge, huge event, mm -hmm. and congratulations Thank you, again. Thank you. What, uh, now, was there anything that you would change looking back Reflector, is there anything that you would change in your preparation for the fight? Is there anything that you did? Did you would you spar less? Mm -hmm. Would you run less? I mean, is there anything that you would change? It was definitely learning um, things that we were going to take forward and, and learn from this. I, um, you know, I don't want to sound like this. This stuff happens, you know, in the sport. But I felt like maybe we uh, maybe pushed the gas too hard too early, okay. um, whereas I maybe peaked a little bit early, and, and you know. You know, had some negative results uh, based on that in the camp, but you know that stuff happens to everybody at, at in different at different points. But I I would say so. I'm not saying that that's why I lost the fight, but I would say that if I you know could do it again or, or in my next fight, I would you know try to um, line the camp up to where I'm peaking a little mm -hmm. bit closer to the fight. Um, okay. So that was definitely uh, something that that we're going to take forward. Um, you know that that's what I would say the biggest biggest thing that we took away from this camp was um, this is the biggest fight I've ever had so you've got like I got to do more than I ever have well sometimes if it's not broke don't you know don't fix it I agree of, you know, I you agree know. now when did you find out that you were gonna get this fight uh, I found out probably um, probably about two months after my last one so about four months ago four so, months before the fight I found out so how long did you were you in camp for this one the whole time <laughs> the whole time after I found out started sparring started uh i was doing 10 rounds of sparring um uh, from basically the point that i found out about the fight on it i just kind of I, I was so excited about the fight i get it i get know, it i and, get it and felt i get like it I needed it, uh, uh you know start right away i i tell people all the time i started training after my last fight because i didn't know it was going to be ramos but i knew it was going to be a big fight in my next one mm -hmm. and um so i started training the night of my last fight I, I went right to the gym i didn't take any time i went for a long run and went and did strength conditioning with my coach uh, in the gym the night of my last fight. I didn't take one break from that point. So that was six months before. I fought six months ago. I didn't take one break from that point to the fight. So, wow. okay. so yeah, we went, yeah, we went yeah. the, whole, yeah. the whole way. You know, I was, I was extremely motivated. Okay. So. Okay. Have you been back in the gym since the 25th? No, I've done some light training. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm letting my body heal a little bit. Absolutely. Learning from it. So absolutely, learn, absolutely. Learn, learn, learning from that. Yeah. Uh, Mm -hmm. Well, you're only 23 years old, yeah. so you know, going through those these experiences, yeah. you'll learn your body more. You For know? sure, it's just For about sure. living and learning. Absolutely, and learn. absolutely. What kind of professional feedback have you gotten from your your promotional team, fellow fighters? Yeah, you know what? I, I haven't looked a lot um, about at, at what people are saying necessarily um, outside of the people that follow me and on, on social media and things. And that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking yeah. about the website. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, I, I haven't watched a lot about that. I've heard a little bit come back to me. I, I do get a lot of comments about the way that the fight took place and in the 
um, even though I lost, a lot of people are commenting on the way that I fought, and, mm -hmm. um, the you know the grit and the, mm -hmm. just just the fact that it was a good fight. You know, just the fact that it, it was an entertaining fight, even though he beat me and even though he beat me down in a way. You know, just the fact that I didn't retreat and I wasn't going to quit. Um, and I wouldn't even say beat me down because I was on my feet and I wasn't going anywhere and I wasn't going to quit. My dad, you know, you hear them say at the end of the fight that they kind of saved me from myself, you know, because they felt like I'm young and I've got a lot more to do. And they didn't want me to leave it all in the ring that night because they knew that I would have. And um, I don't think I was going anywhere, even though I was taking a lot of damage. I don't think I was going anywhere. I think I would have been there the full 10. And, okay. Um, okay. I was going, you know, I was, if, if anything, I was getting a little bit crazier by the round, you know, just kind of not, not caring. Not caring. You know, that's not caring. the way it looked. That's what it looked like to you know me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and just wanting to, to just to, to leave it all in there. And, you, you know could. what I mean? So I get it. they knew that. And they, they uh, so I definitely got beaten up a little bit, took a lot of damage, but. That's what I'm hearing a lot from from people is okay. uh, just kind of admiring the fight itself, and I appreciate that. And uh, even though it's not the way that I wanted the fight to go, um, I know when I watched the fight because I've only watched it once. I put myself outside of watching it as a critic, and I watched it as a fan, mm -hmm. as my young self. And that was the type of fight that would have inspired me when I was a kid, not just the winner, but also the loser. Because at the end of the day. You know, you can pick certain fights and be dominant the whole time right. and never, never test yourself. But boxing is a, is a, it's a warrior sport. It's a sport where we're supposed to get in there and, and if you never get beat up and bloody in your boxing career, then you probably didn't test yourself enough. Right. Unless you're Floyd Mayweather, right. because yes, he's the master. Yeah, but, exactly, exactly. Um, but you know, that's what the sport is supposed to be. It's a fight sport. So I was, uh, I was happy with that at least. You know, what, what about your mindset? since taking the L has changed. I know you, you, you had a certain frame of mind going into the fight. Mm -hmm. What has changed since the fight and the result, as a result of the result of the fight? Yeah, I don't know. You know, I'm, at this point, I'm still kind of taking it day by day. And, and, you know, when you lose a fight, you lose. It's, I tell people it's different than losing other, in other sports, you know, because it's, in a way, it's not a sport, you know. No, it's people, not a sport. People who don't do it think it is, but it's really not. It's, it's deeper than that. It's a little bit... When you lose, you lose a little small part of your manhood a little bit. You no, know? I, I would so agree with that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah. Um, you got to rebuild yourself, and that's what I'm in the process of doing right now. So I'm, uh, it's almost like a grieving. It's like I'm grieving a little bit, and every day it changes a little bit. And um, but I got my my wife and my kid around, and, and that's uh, such that's an amazing time thing, an amazing time to that I'm spending with them. But um, as far as the fighting goes, I, I don't know. I don't know where my mindset's at. I got to get another date, another fight date, and get back in the gym. I haven't even gone back to the gym yet because it's not, my, I'm just, it's not, uh, I'm not feeling like it's time yet. And when it is, I'll yeah, know. Yeah, no, absolutely. And uh, so I'm just taking it day by day. I don't really know yet where okay. my mind's at, you know. I'm really, I, I like hearing what you say. You sound real positive. You sound yeah. like your head's in the right place. Um, yeah. I don't think you'll have any problems going forward. Yeah, and true. you actually answered my next question inside of that question. But how has your faith played mm -hmm. in all of this? How has that helped mm -hmm. sustain you? Or That's a great question, man. I, when I lost the fight, um, I, you know, I really felt like I was supposed to be in that moment at that time. And, um, you know, I felt like the, the big theme of this fight was that these types of fights don't happen. No, they don't. They don't. That's rare. This rare in boxing, this day and age you know, of boxing, to have two yeah. undefeated prospects yeah, like that for link sure. up. They, they don't have that happen very mm -hmm. often. And no. when I actually, when I asked for the fight originally, they, uh, my promoter pretty much told me he doesn't think he's going to be able to get the fight made because it's just so unheard of. Mm -hmm. And then he called me up and was like, hey, we got it done. You know, it's done. It's ready. And I, and I really felt like, you know, I had come to this point for a reason. So when I lost the fight, you know, it's the, for the first night, I was like, man, what what is it that you know God is doing in my life because it's not like I'm, I'm saying why would God do this or anything because you know at the end of the day uh, I, like I said when I got done like you know if, if something happened to my wife or my kid or a family member you know I wouldn't be thinking about boxing so I can't be like but this has been a big part of my life and it's yeah. a big goal of mine and it's a big part of my future as far as I know you know in, in the way that I provide for my family so I'm like it's a big hit in people who don't know boxing. But winning that fight and losing that fight is a drastic difference in where I go. Oh, I know. Next, I know. You know what I, I mean? Know. So I if I won that, 
you know, huge, huge, huge paydays, know, you yes, know, things like that. Yes. So, and right now I'm making a great living and I'm, I'm very happy, but mm -hmm. it's, there's a difference in that and like, oh, you know, know where, where I was headed if I, I know. won that fight. I know. So I feel like after the, you know, smoke cleared a little bit and when I woke up the next day, I started to have the perspective that, you know, I know that this is for a reason. And, and if I look back on my, on my life, even when I was a kid in boxing, I felt like I always was protected from being overly... Uh, from becoming arrogant or and, and I have in the past, but I've always taken um, You know, maybe setbacks to keep me reliant on God and not just in boxing But in life, you know in every aspect of my life. I'm never able to get too comfortable But success usually is around the corner, you know, and but when that success comes I'm fully reliant on God and, and it's reminding it reminds me of why, you know, it's not me. It's not my power. It's not my strength that gets these victories. It's his. Absolutely. And that when he does, uh, when I do lose, you know, it's a blessing as well. And I, I know that that's true. And right now I'm just being patient and trying to see what his plan is. And I'll, I'll see it eventually. Um, you know, it's because it's not just, like I said, a, a boxing match. It's, it's, it's the way that I provide for my family. Yeah. It's what I do. It's pretty much all I know how to right. do. And um, so just being patient and seeing what his plan is, I, I don't think it's over by any means uh, as far as Absolutely. boxing goes. And that's we see that with a lot of, of different champions who have lost and come back. Absolutely. But Absolutely. I just got to see where, where he has me because I feel like there could be success around the corner. I feel like it's going to be even sweeter when it, when it comes. So I think he's got a plan. Absolutely, yeah. man. Absolutely. Absolutely. The fight was over. You wake up the next day. What's the first thing you ate, bro? Because you hadn't been able to eat what you wanted to eat you know for what? weeks or months, probably. You know what? It kind of sucked because I had cuts all throughout my mouth. Oh, several of them. I lost several pounds <laughs> oh, wow. after the fight. Really? How many cuts I had in my mouth? It was it was too painful to eat. And my jaw was. Uh, I had locked jaw. I couldn't move. Like I, I could only open my jaw about this much. So I couldn't even barely fit stuff in my mouth. That I couldn't sucks. even get the fork in my mouth. So I had to uh, drink. Just drink all my food, liquid food, for for about a week. That yeah, sucked. it did suck. Yeah. So, but so I lost some weight and um, was, but then now I'm able to eat good again. So I'm eating good now. Okay. But, yeah, but that was how the first week went. I was so upset because we were in Vegas too, so they had the buffets and all oh, that stuff. And I, I realized it was. Got to be kidding me. This is just insult to injury. But, oh, that's crazy. That's cool. That's cool. All right. Yep. What, what weight does your brother fight at? He fights at 140. 140? Yeah. Yeah. He's a tall 140. Yeah, okay. He's like 6'2". Yeah, but he's 6'1". Uh, he's 6'1". And uh, 140, so he's tall for that weight class. Okay, let me ask you another question. This is just for me. Yep. Could you make 147? Um, I probably could. Um, a lot of people are asking that question because of how big he was in the ring. But I've been around a lot of the other 154 pounders, and he's specifically very big. You know, like he cuts a lot of weight to get down to 154. Charlo's big. What about what about yeah. the old boy that got knocked out last week? Fundora. Oh, he's just tall. He's a freak. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's, he's like a beanpole, but he's like seven foot. Mm -hmm. So he definitely. But the other guys. Six like, foot six. Six foot six, and he fights the same weight class. Yeah, just, crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. What did you think about that? Charles anyway? big. He's a big dude. Yeah, he is. He's six. Six foot or six no, That's his older brother. Okay, so, he's six. So Charlo's five ten. Oh, okay. Your mouse is five ten. Me. So, okay. Like I said, there's not a huge disparity okay. between me and okay. him there. Okay. And, okay. Uh, Tim Zhu, I've been around him. Okay. We're very equal, very even. For real. Yep. Yeah, so Fandora and and Ramos are the two you know bigger dudes in that division. Okay. okay. Like Jared Hurd, I know you. Mm -hmm. I know Jared Hurd. Huge. Yeah, he's very big. Yeah. Oh yeah. And you know, J Rock Williams, you know. Julian Williams. Williams. Yep. We're yep. about yep. the same size. I, okay. I've sparred him. Um, several times. A you lot sparred of, with J. Rock. Yeah, a lot okay, of times. Okay. Okay. And we were, you know, there was really no weight difference there. Um, so I could make 147. It'd be, it'd be difficult. It really would. Okay. That might come in the future, but not yet. The we're, only reason why I said this because I'm just, because uh, Ramos is bigger than you, dude. Yeah, he is. His dimensions, for sure. his back uh -huh. and shoulders. This is a big guy, you know. 100. So that, that's why I said that. For sure, and I think that, you know. I understand why people are asking that question, but at the same time, I know that how I could fight him if I fought him right, you know, and the, the thing is, when someone's got a, that much weight on you, um, you've got to fight him a certain way, you know, and I didn't fight him that way. I fought him on the inside. I gave up yes, you the, did. the advantage that I had, and I played into his. You definitely so did. I have to, uh, you know. But I don't necessarily think it was so much a fault of your own. It's just like, 
you got caught in that first round yeah. and you just were like, okay, let's go. 100%. Yeah, you it, know? it messed with my head a little mm -hmm. bit and I just wanted to throw down from that point, you know. I got to take that lesson going forward and, and stay on my game plan no matter what. Okay. And uh, so, yeah. So you actually kind of, because I was going to ask you exactly what your plans were going forward, but you're saying you're, just, you're still taking some time mm -hmm. right now, yep. just kind of figuring things out, yep. and fair enough to that. Yeah, yeah, so, um, you know, I hope to fight within the next uh, few months, you know, three to five months. That's what, yeah, that's and, what we discussed, uh, yeah. And that's pretty much on my normal schedule. I want to just stay active and, and, you know, probably have a tune-up fight in my next fight, and then get Absolutely. back to the bigger name. Okay, okay. So that's, right. that's my plan. Yeah. Well, that's all I got for you, Joey. I'm so glad I got a chance to sit down and talk to you. I could talk to you till, till tomorrow, yeah. actually. You know, yeah, as you can see, me, you could chop it up forever. Yeah, but absolutely. I'm so glad I got a chance to talk yeah, to you. Good luck you. going forward. And I have no doubt in my mind that you're going to be successful, okay. brother. You're going to be successful. Thank you. You're grounded. You're a good kid. Thank you. You'll be all right. Man. Appreciate it. You'll be all right. Thanks. Yep.